again, will be a moment of history, Cameron, is, of course, this is going to be televised, isn't it? It is. It's going to be televised at 10 a.m., Stephen, a historic occasion, the first time in 70 years we've had this sort of ceremony here at St. James's Palace, a very ancient ceremony, uh, I should add, where Charles will be formally proclaimed the new king. Now, the accession uh, uh, kind of council is split into two parts. So the first part, as you... Uh, quite rightly said, does not include the new king. He does not attend. It will be attended by uh, privy councillors who will all sign the uh, principal proclamation uh, declaring Charles as King Charles III and our new sovereign. This principal pro proclamation will then be read out publicly on the balcony overlooking Friar Court, which is just the other side of St James's Palace to where I am standing. And then it will also be read out again at the Royal Exchange uh, in the City of London to a big trumpet fanfare here um, at Friary Court as well as in the City of London. Uh, and then Union flags, interestingly, will be raised from their current half-mast position to full mast uh, for the new sovereign. And they will remain at full mast until tomorrow, after the principal proclamation has been read out in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland as well. And then they will return to half-mast uh, out of respect and in mourning for Her Majesty the Queen. Now, the king, the king, a bit later on, following that first part of the accession council, will uh, meet for the second part and he will hold his first Privy Council meeting as our Sovereign and there he will read and sign an oath declaring he will protect the Church of Scotland.